Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Good, I hope. Today, we will be taking a look at why I got the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. Spoiler, I'm a whore. I now have a Patreon and will appreciate if you become a member of our community. If you like my content, help me keep it coming. Link in the description. I did it y'all, I got the new iPhone 12 Pro Max and I can say it's a beautiful phone. I like the new old design. Some would say it's a step backwards, but I disagree. I believe it's a good design. It's simple and a simple design is the future. I got the Pacific Blue iPhone. I ordered this phone two weeks ago. I didn't expect for it to ship so quickly since T-Mobile estimated the phone shipping date between November 25th to December 1st. I have had this phone for about a week now, but one funny thing, I was unable to transfer the data from my old phone to this phone. I had to do it manually and we download all my apps. Other than that small issue, I can say it was an okay experience. I have showed the phone to my friends. They seem to be very impressed when they saw it. So why did I upgrade to the iPhone 12 Pro Max? Listen up, I'm about to tell you now. The first reason I decided to get the iPhone 12 Pro Max is because I was able to take advantage of Apple's trade-in program and I was able to trade in my iPhone 10 for $415 towards the new phone. I wasn't too keen on paying $1,100, but since I was able to turn in my old one made $1,100 to $700, which seemed a bit more reasonable. Second, I just wanted a phone with a larger screen. Was it necessary? No. Is it convenient? Yes. I use my phone for content consumption and I'm very hungry. Besides checking my email, following social media and surfing the web, when I'm bored at work, I watch a lot of YouTube and Hulu. Can I tell the difference between LED and OLED? Not really. In addition, I use my phone as a film monitor with my Panasonic G7 due to one of its limitations. HDMI is disabled while recording and I use my phone as a workaround. Third is the camera. I wanted a smartphone camera with good low light performance and Dolby Vision is just the icing on the cake. I use my phone camera a lot taking pictures for my YouTube videos and sometimes as a second camera on a dual camera shoot. Also, I'm considering getting into vlogging and becoming more active on social media. Fourth is the battery. My previous iPhone lost 20% of its battery capacity in two years, so charging it every night became a must. Also, what I like about this phone, with the right charger, it charges very fast, 50% in 30 minutes. That's kind of helped me to get finished with my projects a lot sooner. Finally, 5G. I'm lucky to live in a big city where 5G is now available. I get good enough speed, slightly better than LTE. Reason why I wanted faster speeds is because I tether uh, my phone with my laptop and I like to stream and play games while I'm at work or while I'm away from home with some downtime. Streaming, I don't drop no frames and I also I like to uh, edit a little bit on my laptop and upload my videos directly to YouTube from my laptop. And with this 5G, it made it a little bit more possible. The reason why I say a little bit more possible, um, like LTE, it wasn't available everywhere for me for some reason, especially on Vermont and Sepulveda. I don't know why for T-Mobile, that's a dead zone. And I have noticed a few uh, slowdowns with 5G in certain areas, but at home, at work it's pretty decent i get about 400 down about two something up not too shabby it's faster than my home network thank you for watching my video it means a lot i hope you found this video useful please subscribe like share this video with anyone who could benefit 
but if you found this video isn't quite up to par or you just a plain hater let me know what i did wrong in the comments i welcome constructive criticism to help me improve the quality of my videos also is there something that you would like to see please let me know and you can follow me on the social medias at tech minute i also have a discord and sometimes i like to game on twitch links are in the description